Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we are going to learn how to create product backlog in Jira. We will also understand what is product backlog in very simple terms and then we will go step by step to create the product backlog in the classic scrum project and next gen scrum project. Now in the previous tutorial, we have already seen how you can create the a scrum project so we can go to the projects and we'll open the same project and we'll open the sample uh, scrum project now if you see the backlog here in the left hand side you have this backlog option here uh, if you click on it here this is the window where you will create the backlog now before we get started into creating this particular backlog let's first understand what exactly a backlog is now this is uh, these are the sample stories and the epics that I have created just to explain you what exactly is a backlog. Now, backlog is basically a list of requirement or the items tasks that represent the outstanding work in the project. Say, for example, you are starting a project and you need to build something. Now, here at the top, say, for example, I want to build RCV Academy website and then I want to build RCV Academy mobile app. So these are the top rows here are basically the initiatives and these initiatives will last for a couple of months. So for example, I start developing my company website. It will take a couple of months to develop that depending on how complex the website I'm trying to build. So that becomes an initiative. And this is how, you know, um, in, in the organizations, that's how the overall projects are managed. So you have the initiative and then that initiative is being broken down into smaller pieces of work. And that could be your epics in Jira. So, for example, portal registration is one of the epic, uh, uh, which will have multiple stories and other tasks within it. And then we have the course catalog as another epic. There could be a lot more epic within this particular RCV Academy website initiative. All right. So this is how the initiative and epics map together. And then below the epics, you have the stories or basically this is the backlog that needs to be created or built in order to meet this initiative or in order to deliver this initiative which is rcv academy website now the next initiative could be rcv academy mobile app okay which will have a couple of more epics uh, and the stories within it so this is what uh, the product backlog is basically so whatever initiative you have for that particular you know project and that initiative is being broken into the epics and user stories or any other issues that you want to you know build or say defects that arise that all can be added into the product backlog now once you have your initiatives and the epics defined properly in the in the sheet or in any other tool for example confluence many people uh, use confluence along with jira to manage all these details now you can simply uh, have these details high level details and you can start creating your product backlog okay now extreme uh, details are not important say for example you don't need to have a complete detail of the user story to start creating the backlog because backlog grooming is another activity that can be done uh, that is actually done within the you know within the project project cycle or uh, the during the execution phase uh, which will refine or which will uh, refine the user stories based on the new information that is available during the execution phase okay so in order to add the stories to the product backlog we'll go to the product backlog here in the scrum project right go to the backlog and simply if you go open the epics panel uh, you can start creating the epic okay so now say for example i want to create a backlog for this rcv academy website i'll simply copy this portal registration epic i'll create the epic first so i'll simply provide the epic name uh, i'll provide the epic summary okay and if i want to create another so here issue type if you'll see it, it is epic it's just 
ensure the project is the same project where you want to uh, create this epic okay and then click on create another because i want to add another epic as well so this window will still be open i'll create the epic okay now the next epic i want to add is the course catalog and in the course catalog i'll have a couple of more user stories i don't want to create any more so i'll simply click on create and you can see two epics are being created now once the epics are being created you can go ahead and create the backlog or add the work items which is basically the user stories within these epics okay so to create the issues within the epic you simply click on the create issue in epic that's the easiest way to create the issues within epic and once you click on that it will open the create issue window check the project the issue type that you are creating within this epic and simply copy and paste the details that you have for that particular issue provide the description uh, fill out all the details and then simply you will see in the bottom epic link is by default picked because we have navigated from this epic directly and i want to create another i'll check that box and click create so i'll simply add two more so two epics are uh, two stories are being added in this particular epic ssp1 and let me go to ssp2 and add two more epics or two more stories there so i'll simply copy paste create another and then i'll uncheck this create another all right so now if you see I have added two user stories in portal registration epic and two user stories in course catalog and there are four user stories being added into this particular backlog so this is how you will create the backlog for your initiative or the project that that you are uh, trying to deliver so it's project backlog is nothing but a list of items or the requirements that you want to build for that particular initiative or project now if you want to create more issues you can directly create the issues from the backlog itself so you have this backlog and you have this create issue you can simply click on create select the issue type that you want to create so you can have the bug or task or story in the backlog so for example once this story development started then there would be defects that uh, are found for that particular story that defect can be either fixed most of the time it's fixed within the sprint but if not um, then it is moved to the backlog and the that bug can remain in the backlog and can be prioritized and pulled for the development so that's how you will create the product backlog in any scrum project and this is the classic scrum project now let's go back to the next gen uh, scrum project and see how you can create product backlog in next gen scrum project so this is next gen scrum project on jira cloud you simply go to the product backlog so this is the backlog right so the navigation will be a bit different uh, or the screen layout would be a bit different but rest all still remain same so you can create the epic in this project so simply click on create epic uh, button here and we'll start creating the epic so le let's say uh, i'll add this epic portal registration uh, okay and just hit enter and you, you will see that pro portal registration epic has been added and then we'll add another epic course catalog right so we have added epic now we'll add the stories within these epic okay so what we'll do is um i we, i can simply create uh, click on create issue and we can add the stories so let me add the stories quickly I'll add two stories for portal registration and two stories for course catalog. Now these are just the dummy stories that I have created just to show you how you will create the backlog. Now you can see the backlog has been created in the next gen scrum sample project and these stories at the moment if you'll see they are not tagged to any of the epics okay. So to tag these um, stories to an epic simply drag and drop to the epic. All right and you will see the the epic or the story has been tagged or linked to the epic so i'll do same for the next portal registration one 
and then another for the course catalog. So now you can see the epics have been associated or the stories have been associated to the epic. And now if I see the details of, you know, this particular epic, then I can see the child issues within that epic. If I want to add more issues, I can also click on this plus sign within this epic and I can add more issues, either task or bug or story within this particular epic. But that's all that you need to do in order to create a backlog in any uh, Jira project. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.